going to come from you from another perspective versus those parents who don't have a coach in their family and this is a new sport to them. And so my, my journey is a little bit different. Ms. Cobb's journey is a little bit different. She's a nurse. Um, so she sees things from different perspectives. So we're all here with different perspectives and we're here to give you that. Um, so the wonderful thing when I hear about um, moms, I'll never forget I was in this pageant in high school and one of those wonderful questions, what is it, what is the hardest job and do you think is the hardest job in the United States? And so being, what, 16 I think I was, scared, nervous, standing in front of everybody, the first thing that came to mind was president. You know what, I know about being a president, it seems hard to me, so that was my answer, president. And then I got home with my aunts, my grandmother, my mom, my older cousins, and they said, what is wrong with you? The hardest job is being a mom. And I'm like, how am I supposed to know that? I'm 16, you kept telling me, make sure you're not a mom, and now you're telling me the hardest job is being a mom. <laughs> okay, and then I became a mom, and I began to understand, it's not, it's not just because you carried a child and then you brought it out into the world. Oh my gosh, that's just the beginning of your journey. That This bond, this love, this, who would not, at this very moment, if you heard someone say something negative about your child, be ready to fight. I mean, I love my husband to pieces, but sometimes when he says something, I'm like, well, wait, wait, hold it. What did you just say? And then he has to remind me, that's my child too. Yeah, but he's mine. And then you start going with the lecture, I carried him. <laughs> I nursed him. <laughs> when you were working, I did this. And he still has to remind me, that's still mine. So, But we just have this nurturing about us that we hold tight and we look for dangers and we jump in and we try to save them from danger. And you know we forget that sometimes it might be nice to let them hit the floor a little bit so that they can recognize that that floor hurts and how they can avoid those little pitfalls. And so, when you hear mother, and when you, when sometimes in this area of football, mother tends to be a pat on the head, oh, it's that's mom, oh, that's mom. And the interesting thing about that is that I used to be offended by that. It used to drive me nuts that I felt like I was being patronized for being just mom. And then one day, in my head, I was like, I know this child. I know this child better. I know the essence of this child. Now, granted, my child's going to grow up and do things that I don't expect him to do, that I didn't teach him to do, but I still know this child. And so when you patronize me, I get a little defensive, and I have learned to keep my defensive quiet because I use my brain more than I use my brawn. So if I